Today we're going to talk about um, something I call rules of order. So these are things that are really simple little habits that need to get in place to maintain order for the longer term and that a lot of people don't always have in place. So the first one is really easy and um, I actually saw a video about this over the weekend and that's why I decided to use this as the first one. And that's put your toys away. Um, there, this video was adorable and I'm going to try to find the link and, and post it in the comments for everybody because it was really cute. But it's this little two-year-old playing with her toys and then putting them away. And it made me realize how few people go through that process as adults and with their kids. And that learning that skill of putting your things away, that actual resetting of the space when you're done with your activity um, or that portion of the activity so that paint doesn't dry out, paintbrushes aren't dead on arrival, so that you aren't tripping over toys when you get up in the middle of the night for a glass of water, when um, you know where your bills are because they're back in the bill paying tray, you know, all the different things. Your ice cream isn't freezing on the counter. Put your toys away. When you're done scooping the ice cream, put the ice cream and the scoop away. Um, you know, little things like that can make a huge difference. Leaving them because you're too tired now just makes you have to have twice as much energy later when you have to scrape crud off of dishes or um, can't find the parts to do the thing you're trying to do, or you have to clear the dining room table to set for dinner. All those little things are about putting your toys away, that resetting the space for next time. Um, and I think it's a real hindrance to creativity as well in all its forms. If you can't find your scissors because you didn't put them away last time and they're still in the other room under the stack of papers you were cutting up, you won't be able to cut open that next thing for your next little project. So just keep that in mind. How can you create that little habit of, okay, I'm done working, I've been interrupted, but I still need to reset my space. How are you going to deal with that? Think of it ahead of time. Will you always do the dishes right after dinner? Or like me, first thing in the morning, I'm this, I, I like to leave my dishes overnight. I do not know why. <laughs> it's, it was, I do actually know why. I used to transition from my day job to my night job by having about 45 minutes at my apartment where I would do my dishes to kind of transition into my next thing. And once I didn't have that job anymore, I started doing it in the morning so that I could think through my day's routine and what I was going to be doing in the morning. So I would leave my, I would rinse them, but I would not fully do my dishes until the next morning. So think about it. It doesn't have to look like everyone else's way of doing it. But if you have some sort of routine or methodology in place where you reset At the end of the day, I put various papers back in my money bin. I put other various papers back in my working on tomorrow pile. I reset my calendar. I do a couple things to just clear my desk so it's great for working tomorrow. Um, that's what I'm talking about when it's put your toys away. It also really sets a great example for younger people and other members of your household. If you are seen doing the steps involved in maintaining an organized space at work, at home, wherever you are, you will model that behavior for others. Even out in public, what if you put your trash away? What if you scooped up your stuff and did a quick glance around and, and put stuff in your back in your car in a nice way? All these little places during the day where you can show up as a better version of yourself and doing things in the way that's going to support you instead of take you out of it because you have to spend a whole day or weekend cleaning out the garage. All of these little things add up. So think of it as putting your toys away and respecting your toys and your activity is complete once you have done that and you will be ready to start your next activity. All right. That's it for today. Um, I'd love to remind you to follow, like, um, check out my stuff, turn on the notifications so you know when I'm going to be on. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.